Hey, it's Elder Les with a word of encouragement for you today from Matthew 5.16. It says, Let your light so shine before men that they may, may, they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. If you study that verse, you notice it says to let your light so shine before men, which means it's not for us to make our light shine. It doesn't say to make our lights shine. It says for us to let. This means that we are to allow God to surrender to him. It's his work. It's his light. It's his, the light that he's given us, each, each of us individually, to shine. And uh, it's not an act of our will. It's an act of us allowing his will to be done through us. And we um, we also know that um, we can't earn our salvation. So our good works are not to earn our salvation. It's a proof. It's evidence of the Holy Spirit working in us to show gratitude, to show to show faith, and to show that the Holy Spirit, fruit of the Holy Spirit, is at work in us. They shall know them by their fruit. So it's, it's um, us allowing God to shine through us. Each of us has our own individual light. It says, let your light, and that light that you, is yours is from God. The light that is yours is from God, and it's unique to each of us. But we are to let him be able to shine through us. And um, once we do that by fellowshipping with him, by by participating in a, in a church family, we are meant to be in a family. And when we do that, we will shine the brightest for him. And uh, again, remember, it takes the pressure off for you to know that you, you, you're not to make your light shine. You are to allow God to shine through you and, and just be yourself and be you through with the Holy Spirit's help and and the, and the fruit of that spirit of peace, joy, and love working through you. So sh let your light shine today and be a blessing. Amen.